Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Volvo XC60 T6 inscription, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Volvo XC60 is one of the strongest contenders in the luxury SUV segment. It has abundant passenger space, an updated interior with attractive design, and an easy-to-use infotainment interface. And under the hood, three different powertrains offer varying levels of performance and fuel efficiency, regardless of what trim level you choose. As for the equipment, the 2019 XC60 comes with the tech you'd expect in this segment, such as dual-zone climate control, an attractive 9-inch infotainment display, and standard support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It also gets safety technology such as road departure mitigation, lane keeping assist, and a drowsy driver warning system. From there, the options stack up nicely too, with lots of functional and aesthetic add-ons. As previously mentioned, under the hood are three different versions of the same four-cylinder engine. One is turbocharged, another is turbocharged and supercharged, and the third is a plug-in hybrid. What's best is that buyers can pair any of these powertrains with any trim level, meaning no powertrain equipment level combo is off the table. The 2019 Volvo XC60 is available in three trim levels that offer varied levels of luxury and sport-focused amenities. There's the Momentum, our design and inscription. Each trim level is available with any powertrain, which are named T5, T6, and T8 plug-in hybrid. An 8-speed automatic is the only transmission available. The base T5 Momentum comes with front-wheel drive, while all other 2019 XC60s come standard with all-wheel drive. One of the XC60's best features is the ability to build one however you want. Choose your preferred horsepower level, or if you want to plug in hybrid and match it up with one of your desired equipment levels, you can do that too. For my money, however, the T6 inscription delivers the best of the SUV strengths. The T6 comes with the turbocharged and supercharged 2 liter engine, and the inscription trim level has some of the most desirable options. In this configuration, the XC60 feels like a truly plush family vehicle. Okay, let's jump into our build and price review of the 2019 Volvo XC60 T6 inscription because, well, I like the T6 because that's the best. Well, I like that motor. We can see that the starting price for the inscription is $47,150. I also like the R design too, TOO as in also. It's got a starting price of $46,650. And you got the base model uh, momentum that, remember, only that comes in front-wheel drive as standard. The rest of them come in all-wheel drive. That starts at $39,800. Real quick, if you like the R design, because the R design is pretty sporty looking, I actually did the little brother of the XC60. I did the 2019 Volvo XC40 in an R design, and that was really, really sweet. If you like that, I'm going to put a link up to that in the corner right now. Okay, let's check some photos. They've got a beautiful gallery of exterior and interior photos for this new 2019 XC60 luxury SUV. So it uh, looks like they have 17 slides here for the exterior. Let's just run through them. It's a great looking vehicle. Obviously, they're going to be showing it in different trim levels and configurations. This one certainly looks to be an inscription. Uh, you can kind of tell the difference between an inscription and... Uh, certainly a R design. This one's certainly the R design. And then the momentum just kind of looks a little softer. Now here we can get a good shot of the interior and we can see that digital speedometer. And I have to say it because I normally do. If you know, if you watch this channel, you know I love digital speedometers. I also like heads-up displays and it looks like this uh, Volvo has a heads-up display. We can see the screen right here in the upper dashboard. Uh, yeah, love that. That's really cool. Here's the huge panoramic roof. Is it an option or is it standard? We'll find out going forward. Uh, here's a beautiful shot of the dashboard. Here's the Bowers and Wilkins uh, stereo system. Beautiful wood veneers. 
It's nicely done. This looks to be the passenger side of the vehicle with a two-person memory seating. It's really nice in here. The Volvo uh, has come a long way. Here's their infotainment system. Nice big screen. Huge, great resolution. You've got your uh, HVAC, your heating and cooling, integrated right into the bottom of that screen, it looks like. Kind of looks just like a tablet, doesn't it? Got a time up here. Looks like you've got like... <laughs> You got bars over here in the corner. Looks like a tablet. It's really nice. This is a nice shot of an all black leather interior. Here's a great shot of, I guess, the infotainment system because that looks like a play and pause button there. Okay, so we checked out the gallery photos. We saw the interior and the exterior photos. Look, we could actually do a 360 virtual walk around of both the interior and the exterior so let's actually do that right now okay there we go all right i had to play with it for a second here to get it going let's move that up a little bit so here we can kind of get a full walk around let's start by looking down Ooh, that looks really nice look at the rear climate control that's nice hopefully that's not making you dizzy here's the i drive light controller here's a scroll wheel i'm not going to zoom in oh look at that there's plus and minus things let's actually click on that so legendary seat comfort, it says our new seats have slim backs that maximize leg room, yet don't compromise the exceptional comfort for which we have become famous. All right, so we've got that. And then what's this? Four zone climate control system uh, helps everyone find the right temperature, allowing out rear passengers to select their own temperature and air. Right. We got that. And then what do we have here? The nine inch center display. All right, I already kind of told you about that. The Bowers and Wilkins audio system they're talking about there. Let's take a spin around here. We can see a nice shot of the interior. It even says inscription on the headrest here. Got a little embroidery. The seats look very nice. We'll keep on spinning around. Here's a nice shot of that huge panoramic roof. Nice shot of the back seats. Here we can see the latch system. How cool is that? You got the little Swedish flag on the seats how nice is that i like that i used to be a sob person myself many 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 moons ago and was always about that swedish flag all right so yeah very cool what does this say yeah we got the four zone climate control i think we've looked around the whole thing let's actually do the exterior walk around next okay so the exterior walk around we can only just spit it we can't go up and down and do all of that we can just take a nice look of this Volvo XC60 in a T8 trim they're showing us. Probably an inscription in a T8 trim. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, these Thor's Hammer lights are very nice. Yeah, they are actually called Thor's Hammer lights. And they're really nice. Okay, so we've kind of looked around the Volvo uh, XC60. We've kind of learned a little bit, just a little bit about the 2019 Volvo XC60. Now, I think we should dig in and explore the features. And as you can see here, there are several categories. There's design, there's, well, versatility, there's technology, there's innovation, there's driving, safety, accessories, and all of that. So what I want to do is I want to go through these tiles so we can learn about the features of the 2019 uh, Volvo XC60 uh, in detail. And then after that, then after that, we'll be ready to do, we'll check the specs really fast, and then we'll be ready to do the build and price. So first things first, let's click on this design tab here and see what it shows us. Well, the first thing that comes up is a beautiful picture of a 2019 XC60 going down a beautiful road with beautiful high resolution. Then underneath that, it says the Scandinavian Athlete. They talk about the exterior is defined in uncluttered lines, dynamic proportions, large wheels, pronounced wheel arches, right? Clearly express its athleticism, integrated roof rails, tough side moldings. And all of this uh, supposedly highlights that this uh, 2019 XC60 is a capable SUV. Beyond that, they tell us that... Uh, Beyond that, they tell us that this uh, 2019 XC60 features standard LED headlights. Yeah, there it is. Thor's Hammer daytime running lights for a strong identity and superior vision at night. 
Uh, and then you can also option an available full LED headlights with auto high beams and active bending lights that turn in the same direction as the steering wheel. Uh, and that's pretty cool too. So that's an upgrade offer or upgraded option there, the full LED headlights. Next up, let's learn about the dynamic comfort of our 2019 XC60 because it has a chassis that delivers exceptional comfort and control. It's got sophisticated double wishbone front suspension, an integral link rear suspension. Uh, they use strong, lightweight materials, and that's going to help provide an agile handling and responsive steering. You can option the 2019 Volvo XC60 with an air suspension. Right, that what does that do? It keeps the ride height constant by giving you a smoother, more controlled ride over bumps and through corners. Uh, the suspension's responses are adjusted constantly. There's modes too in comfort or eco drive mode. The body is lowered 10 to 20 millimeters at higher speeds to use less fuel. In dynamic mode, the body is lowered by 20 millimeters for even sportier handling. Get low to the ground. And continuing on about that drive mode thing, it says the XC60 has a choice of drive modes that allow you to adapt uh, the driving experience to your needs. So you can switch between three default settings for the engine, automatic gearbox, steering, brake, stability control system, and engine stop-start function. And then you can even create your own combination with this individual mode. So you can toggle through the drive settings, which are displayed on the 9-inch screen. And then you can use that roller control, which I said I didn't know what it was, uh, between the front seats. So let's talk about cargo capacity. And apparently the 2019 Volvo uh, XC60 has 22.4 cubic feet uh, with the backrest up and 50.6 cubic feet with the rear backrest folded. So quite a bit of storage back there. And it also says that the backrests that fold down with the push of a button are also available. There's an optional power-operated tailgate. And you can open it by a button on the dashboard or tailgate or the remote control. And it says when combined with the keyless entry option, it also offers a hands-free function. That means you can even open or shut the tailgate by simply moving your foot under the rear bumper. So there's a sensor under there. Here, they're just talking about how beautiful their car is. They're just telling you that it's just lovely. It's Swedish luxury that surrounds you. And like a lot of Scandinavian design, it's a minimalist design. Uh, so, yeah, again, they're talking about that sleek 9-inch inches touchscreen, the unique air vents with a slender metal finish control, which I guess they're showing down here. They've got unique woods. Um, yeah, the starter button, drive mode controller, all delight the senses. Yeah, let's move on from that. Here they're showing that standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the 9-inch senses touchscreen. And they tell us that it's got um, bold, clear graphics and a minimal number of buttons. Looks pretty good to me. So they're also saying that uh, there's a digital driver display, and that's right here that puts important information right in front of you and its brightness adjusts to the surroundings so it's always easy to read. There's also an advanced voice control function that allows you to operate climate control, navigation, media, and telephone functions using natural speech patterns. No need to memorize set prompts or commands. Very nice. I've noticed that a lot of manufacturers or some manufacturers are starting to go to that to where you've got this natural speech where you can talk to these things because, well, knowing all these different prompts and commands, I guess, well, it's not working out. Here, they're just telling us about the advanced connectivity of this 2019 XC60 and how you can listen to your favorite music with their navigation, with their infotainment, stay in touch with people, remain connected on the move, uh, apps that entertain you, all of that there. Here, we can actually see a nice shot of the heads-up display. Now, it's not as nice as a head-up display on a BMW, but it's a nice heads-up display nonetheless, and it's there. Here they're talking about the sound system. There's an integrated Spotify app, which means there's no need to connect your phone to enjoy it. Yeah, I guess you just have to have a Spotify subscription. Uh, standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto allow you to easily link your smartphone. The Census Connect, which is what they call their infotainment system. 
gives you access to a range of additional built-in apps. Here down at the bottom, they're talking about the Harman Kardon Premium Sound System that gives you precise, powerful sound, while the top of the range, Bowers and Wilkins, is just the best. So two different audio systems. You either can get the Harman Kardon Premium, that's, I guess, standard, or you can bump up to the Bowers and the Wilkins. Here they're going to tell us that the uh, 2019 Volvo XC60 is available with a 360 degree surround view camera that helps make parking effortless by showing a bird's eye view of your car and its immediate surroundings on the center touchscreen. So yeah, and it's also useful when, nav when negotiating tight spaces and to help you avoid costly parking scrapes. There's also some driver assist features, right? There's one called pilot assist which helps make driving in heavy traffic less tiring. This driver assistance technology keeps a set speed and distance to the vehicle in front of you and uses steering inputs to keep you in the center of your lane. And uh, it works at speeds up to 80 miles an hour. And then, yeah, Pilot Assist uses data from the navigation system, an electronic horizon function that can read the planned route of your drive so it knows more about the radius of bends or the gradient of the road ahead. Very cool. So, yeah, that's a driver assistance feature, and it's quite interesting. Here, there's something called perfect parking. Uh, park Assist Pilot helps you park perfectly every time. It uses sensors to gauge the size of available spaces. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And it can, it can steer the car into parallel space. Uh, and I guess all you need to do is follow the screen prompts and operate the gas and brakes as the car steers itself into the desired space. Let's talk about how tough the uh, 2019 Volvo XC60 is. They say that this vehicle is a safe place for you and your passengers and is a result of decades of leadership in safety. Ultra high strength boron steel, one of the strongest types of steel available, forms a rigid safety cell around the car while crumple zones front and rear dissipate energy in the event of a collision. Here they have something that's called City Safety, and it's Volvo Car's innovation that spots potential danger and helps you avoid it. It uses radar and camera technology to identify other cars, cyclists, and pedestrians, and large animals even, day or night. It warns you if it detects an imminent collision, and if you don't react in time, it can automatically apply the brakes to avoid or mitigate a collision. Uh, it says that in the XC60, city uh, safety includes steering support, which helps you steer away from danger as effectively and safely as possible. That's all interesting. Speaking of interesting, run off-road mitigation. Okay, this is a standard safety feature for the XC60. Uh, for 2019 that makes it less likely for the car to be steered off the road accidentally. That's interesting. This Volvo car's inner innovation detects if the car is about to leave the road unintentionally and then uses steering and, if necessary, brake support to guide the car back onto the right path. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, last but not least, they're just kind of talking about accessories. Uh, you can make this Volvo XC60 your own with high-quality accessories. They've got load compartment mats and uh, strong, lightweight bicycle holders, beautifully designed roof boxes, and all that. I'm probably not interested in any of it, but we will certainly take a look at some of that stuff for sure. Here they're just going on with telling you about their range of styling accessories um, that uh, that's created by our design by their designers to complement the athletic look. There's an exterior styling kit that includes front and rear skid plates and stainless steel, uh, unique integrated dual exhaust split tailpipes. Uh, there's a body colored wheel arch extensions. There's all kinds of stuff. So like I said, uh, if they show us in the build and price part, which is coming up here soon, we're almost there. We're just going to take a look at the specs here real quick because we're actually done learning about the features. This is really the last piece of feature we're learning about. So now that we know about the accessories and we've learned about all the other features, Let's go take a, a minute or two, just literally a minute or two, to go look at the specs, and then we'll do our build-in price. Okay, so here we are on the Volvo XC60 specs page. Over here in the left column, we can see that I have the T6 all-wheel drive inscription listed. This is the vehicle that we are going to build in price. Its starting MSRP is $52,000. $250. The other vehicles, they're just there. I can't really delete them out. So, but we can see here 
that with that engine, the supercharged turbocharged engine, right? Because the standard engine is just a two liter turbocharged engine, makes 250 horsepower, right? But with the supercharged turbocharged, now it's 316 horsepower, 295 pound feet of torque, right? They're all still gasoline engines, all right? Our fuel economy is 21 miles to a gallon in the city, uh, 27 miles to a gallon on the highway and 23 miles to a gallon mixed driving. For capacities, right, we're over here on this far left column, fuel capacity, it's got an 18.8 gallon fuel tank, uh, cargo capacity is 63.3 cubic feet, and well, this vehicle seats five passengers. Let's find out some exterior dimensions, height, and all these are in inches, height, 65.3, length, 184.6, width, 83.3 inches, wheelbase, 112.8 inches. Turning circle, well, 37.4 inches. I wouldn't really know what a good turning circle was or not, but that's the turning circle. And then lastly on this specs page, let's just check out the interior dimensions uh, because, well, it's relevant. And again, all these dimensions are in inches. Uh, front headroom is 38 inches. Rear headroom is also 38 inches. We don't lose anything. Shoulder room in the front is 58.2. Shoulder room in the rear is 56.3. Leg room in the front, 41 and a half. Leg room in the rear, 38 inches. Hip room in the front, 56.4. Hip room in the rear, 55.4. Okay, so we have gone through and we've checked out the overview. We've looked at the gallery. We've learned about the features. And now we've just checked the specs. So now let's actually go do our build and price of our 2019 Volvo X60 T6 inscription. Okay, so we're about to go start the building price. So here we've got the standard inscription price of $47,795. Why is that different? Well, because I haven't added the T6 variant yet. So that's why that price is different. Let's run through these little four photos real quick, see what they look like. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a nice shot. Beautiful interior. Um, here they're saying some inscription features, tailored instrument panel, 12.3 inch digital driver display, that Harman Kardon premium sound. And yeah, we can check out all the other standard features, but let's get started with, uh, let's get started on our build. But before we do, let's get the highlights of those standard features. So yeah, that Harman Kardon Bluetooth connection, we've got performance, right? Dual integrated st tailpipe, stop start function, power steering, drive mode settings, right? Four zone climate control, leather upholstery, driver seats with memory, uh, front passenger seats, uh, cruise control, oncoming lane mitigation, and private locking. Okay, so we got those standard features. I just want to check those out real quick. Let's jump over here. Now, now we get to choose how do we want this trim? T5, T5 all-wheel drive, T6. T6 all-wheel drive is what we want. Okay, that starts at now the prices are moving all over the place. But 53595 So we're going to go ahead and select that uh, that trim level. So now we have our 2019 Volvo uh, XC90. I'm sorry, XC60 inscription with a T6. Now, as far as exterior colors, this is our first time being able to view all the exterior colors. So let's actually just check them all out first. Here's the ice white. Okay. This is our bright silver. Yeah, we can see the paint change a little bit. It's a little slow. There's the crystal metallic. There it is. We've got a fusion red. How's that look? That looks okay, actually. Uh, osmium gray metallic. There's also a pine gray metallic. they got a lot of dark colors. Onyx black metallic. And then there's a denim blue. Now, I'm not really crazy about any of these colors, to be quite honest with you. But I think I might like the crystal white metallic. So let's go with the crystal white metallic. It's a $645 option. Are they going to show us the same? Uh, yeah, they're basically showing us the same photos. So it's a $645 option for those for that paint color. And so now let's go choose our wheels. Okay, so we have a lot of wheel options. There's a, a 20 inch wheel option. There's a couple of 22 inch wheel options. And right now we're sitting on these 19 inch wheels. Uh, 10 spoke black alloy. They're just okay. Now, let's see. These 22 inch wheels uh, come with summer tires. We got to keep that in mind. So, 
you know, if I want those tires, I got to keep in mind I'm going to have to put on a set of winter tires depending on where I live at some point. Let's see what these look like really fast, these 10-spoke black alloy. I think those look nice. Let's check out these real fast, too. Uh, oh, no, we can't get those. We can't get those. They require, well, do they, yeah, they're just telling us that they're going to remove that. Okay, well, let's just do that. That's fine. Let's see what they look like. Yeah, those look okay, but I think these look better. Yeah, let's go ahead and change that. We're going to go ahead and spend the $3,995 to get these really great wheels. Those are really, really nice. Do they give us another shot? Yeah, cool. So now we have those wheels. Let's move on to our upholstery. So now we got a nice shot of the upholstery. Let's see what the other photo looks like. I think I like the other one better. As far as upholstery color, what do we want? They've got a lot of different interior upholstery colors. There's the amber uh, leather charcoal. Let's just look through them all since they're here. Then there's the blonde right leather. There's the charcoal leather, which is probably what we're going to go with. It looks black to me. Then there's this maroon brown leather, which is actually quite attractive. There's this amber perforated Napa. Ah, so to do the Napa, you've got to do the backrest massage front seats and the power adjustable side. We're not going to make that selection. I just kind of wanted to look through all of them. So, yeah, the Napas, the Napa leather requires uh, a different configuration. Uh, you know what? The Napa leather is nice, but I'll just stick with the charcoal leather. We're sitting at $58,585. I'm not really overly concerned about the price, but I got my eyeball on it. We've got the charcoal leather and you know, with the charcoal interior. Seems good enough. Uh, let's continue on to exterior styling now. And there's really only one thing to select. Do we want this uh, exterior styling kit? I had kind of spoken of it uh, earlier, right? It adds, you know, just some... Uh, front and rear fascia just makes it look more sporty. It's $1,765. I want it, apparently, because now we have it on ours. As far as our veneers, our interior styling, because that's what they really mean by that for the most part. Uh, here, they they show steering wheel and gear lever stuff, but it's already checked, so we don't have anything to do there. Uh, we've got, we can do the linear lime deco inlay. What does that look like? Let's see what that looks like with our black. That's going to look nice with our black leather. I don't think I even need to go any further. I like the linear lime deco inlay. So, yeah, let's go on to packages. What packages are there? There's a black headlining and sports steering wheel package. Yeah, let's, let's hit that up for information. So charcoal headliner and a sports steering wheel. Yeah, let's add that to our selection. Got it. We got that for $300. Advanced package. What's this advanced package? Gives us virtual parking assist, active bending lights, graphical head-up display. Yeah, you got me a head-up display right there. Uh, high pressure uh, headlight cleaning. And you got that driver assistance system with the cruise control. Let's go ahead and add that for $2,500. Namely because I want that heads-up display, to be honest with you. Heated seats and steering wheel. Let's go ahead and add that for $752. Uh, let's go over to options. Quite a few options. Now... Was that headrest a standalone option? I mean, the heads-up display, it was not a standalone option because if that head-up display was a standalone option, I'd probably remove that other package. I just wanted to quickly look through these real fast. All right, so what, what do we want here? Uh, go ahead. We have the heated rear seats. Uh, what else do we need? We have the heated steering wheel. That air suspension, while that sounds nice, eh, I'm going to skip it. The Bowers and Wilkins sound system sounds great. I don't want to spend the $3,200. Uh, the rest of these little accessories and stuff, eh, I don't really need them. The illuminated trunks uh, skid plate is actually pretty cool, though. I like that. I do need that in my life, or I need that on my XC60 anyway. Uh, so we're going to get that. And then I like these front mud flaps. That's going to save the, the, the lower paintwork from a whole bunch of garbage. I like this uh, load carrier, right, this, this cargo carrier. There's tray that uh, keeps your compartment, everything clean. That's just 200 bucks. I like that a lot. So we got that now. Um, what else is there? Oh, here's the rear mud flaps. We got the fronts. Here's the rears. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but here's the rears. Got that. Let's add those. And 
what's this? The Polestar Performance Software. We can add more horsepower? So they don't tell us how much, but we can add more horsepower. I'm down for that. I am so down for that. We got that. That's super cool. What's the red key accessory? With this remote key, you can limit the car's top speed, the auto volume, and the set the adaptive cruise control. Oh, right. I don't need it, but it's very cool. That's very cool. Uh, what else is there that I... Uh, let's see. Wheel locks. I like wheel locks. It's cheap security. And I to protect my new 22-inch wheels. Other than that, I think I have everything I think I need. I really do. All right, let's move on to the summary because, well, we're done. So here we are. The summary. Life for this vehicle started off at what? Well, we got to dig into it. Well, oh, we can't print off this build summary, but let's first dig into this really fast. So we came to a grand total of 66295 right here's all the different features and specs and options and everything that we put on the vehicle um yeah let me see if i can go ahead and print off this build summary if i can then i will put it in the description below hang on let's find out okay so yeah i was able to save the build summary so if you like the way i built price spec and optioned this 2019 volvo xc60 uh inscription t6 all-wheel drive you can download the build summary in the description below uh, we're done here. Yeah, this vehicle started life at just under $48,000 before we got into it, before we got the T6 and did all the features and put on all this stuff. So we jumped it up almost $20,000 at the end of the day. So not that's a lot of money. The Volvo is very nice. I think it's priced competitively. I think it's a smart vehicle. I like it a lot. I think it makes great horsepower. It's gorgeous inside. The wheels look fantastic. I can't say enough nice things, apparently. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, if you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very